What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and this is a video I'm really excited to uh, make. Uh, I've actually been anticipating this knife for a while. Um, this is a pretty new knife made by CRKT. It is called the Razzle. Um, kind of an interesting name but uh, maybe Razzle Dazzle, I don't know. Um, but this is a really really awesome knife. It's a fixed blade knife with a pocketable sheath so it has a pocket clip on it. So that's what really attracted me to this knife. Now I've been looking for a really good solid pocketable fixed blade for a while um, because of where I work. I work in a warehouse. I'm constantly breaking down boxes, cutting open, um, you know, pallets, um, you know, the banding that comes on the pallets to keep stuff strapped. Uh, and those those can be pretty thick. Those are pretty thick plastic. So I wanted something that was really beefy uh, that I just, I didn't want to destroy my folders because um, I have I have broken folders before or um, you know they get loose. Uh, cutting open pallets and stuff like that and really using knives hard um, and you know this thing is an absolute cardboard killer I've been using this thing for about a week and it is a, it is a, it is a tank like I love this knife um, so uh, first off the sheath it's just like a polymer sheath it's not kydex or anything special uh, but it is a pressure fit so you basically just pull it out and it just kind of you know f uh, just fits in there. I mean, I guess my one gripe with this knife would be the sheath. Um, it's, it's really big. It's I think it's almost too big. Um, they put just too many holes around it. Um, I wish they would have maybe done like a taco design where it just folds over, um, and that would have made it a lot thinner and a lot less beefy. But even still, I mean, if I put this thing in my jeans pocket, it really doesn't feel that big. Um, so that's one thing I really enjoy about it. Um, but this is actually the Rizzle Compact. So this is a smaller version of the bigger sized Razzle, which is like a full little cleaver. Um, so anyway, that's the outside. Um, and one little design aspect that I uh, saw is that they put this little triangle cut out on each side. And I'm guessing that is to allow air to escape um, because this blade steel is made out of D2. Um, and I think that's just so water can't get trapped in there because D2 rusts really easily. So that is a cool little design that they, uh, you know, that they threw in there. Um, but this thing barely sticks up out of the pocket uh, when it's in there. So as you see here, um, it just slips right onto the pocket and that's all that sticks up out of it. So it's really, really pocketable. Um, very, very easy to pull out. You just kind of grab it with your pinky and you push up on the sheath. Now, I'll be honest, it's not the easiest um, you know, knife to pull out of a sheath while it's in your pocket, but um, it's fairly easy. You know, you do have to have some good, you know, thumb strength uh, to pull this thing out, but yeah. So that's it from the outside. So now let's take a look at this knife. Um, really, really cool. So let's kind of zoom in here so you can get some size here. So we'll put the ruler to this thing. So looks like blade, actual blade cutting length, we have about two inches. Um, the actual knife length, let's see here, about five and a quarter. And then with the with the paracord lanyard, uh, that's there for some added strength, or not strength, but you know, grippiness, so you can get that pinky on there. It makes it about seven inches. Um, so, but total blade length is about two and a half inches, it looks like. But, uh, you know, this is a full tang knife. Um, so, you're getting that full tang durability construction. It's really, really nice. Um, so, as you guys know, obviously I said before, this is made out of D2. D2 is notorious for rusting. Now, they added some preventative measures to make sure it doesn't rust by giving it an acid wash. So, as you see here, I mean, this isn't a, that's not really a shadow. That is just, that's the stone wash of it. And then they kind of polished um, this part right here. So that's polished, and then this is stone washed, and it's stone washed everywhere else. So that's going to help with the rust. Uh, it's going to add some, uh, you know, corrosion resistance, which is really cool. Good little design perk there. Um, so let's kind of start from the top, work our way to the bottom. So we have three different blade profiles going on. We have this right here, which they call VEF flap top serrations, and that is basically for rope um, and strapping. So here I have some regular 550 paracord, and there you go. And then here I have some, this is kind of like thicker, just nylon uh, rope, but it's a lot thicker than the paracord. So, and just like that, very, very easy. Uh, it's also really easy to cut it with the regular side too, so just so you know. Uh, but 
they do offer it. So that's a cool little feature they threw in there, some serrations for cutting really heavier stuff so you don't have to destroy your main blade. The second blade profile they have on there is this chisel grind. So uh, this is going to be good for, uh, you know, push down cuts. So if you're doing something like this, um, you know, that's, it's going to be good for that. Uh, maybe some, you know, scraping. Um, it is a chisel grind, so it's going to be really good for that sort of uh, utility. Um, and then the last, you know, uh, the last blade profile is this big belly, um, just regular straight edge. And it's kind of got a, kind of got a full flat grind. I don't really know. This is a really, I'm going to call this a complex grind because there's a bunch of different things going on. Um, but it's really great. I mean, I've used this thing at work and this thing is just an absolute beast. The way that it just kind of fits into your hand, uh, there's not really any jimping. So just be mindful of that. Um, but I, I, I've, haven't found it slipping from my hand at all, um, because of the G10 scales. So, um, I, you know, I really like the scales on this thing. Um, I, I haven't actually tried to remove the scales yet to see if you could use this sheath without the scales. I doubt it'll work because I think the scales are what causes the friction when you put it in. Um, but this would be really cool as like a little skeleton knife. If you took the scales off, uh, I think that would look really, really badass. So, um, but I haven't tried it yet. I'm not really gonna. I like it how it is. As you see right here on the blade, it says Graham Design. This is designed by, I believe his name is Bill Graham. Um, really, really solid design from him. Uh, really, really happy with it. And then uh, last but not least, they have a little paracord. Uh, this comes on it. I didn't put that on. Um, so that just gives you that extra fourth finger grip there. So you can get really good control of this thing. You can choose to take it off if you have smaller hands, but I personally really, really like it. Um, but yeah, this thing is just an absolute beefcake. I just... Um, I mean, that's, that's what they should have named this knife. The CRKT Beefcake would have been, would have been a more uh, fitting name. Um, so, absolutely solid knife. I absolutely love this thing. This is going to be my everyday work knife. Um, and, you know, I, I wouldn't say this is a neck knife. I mean, I guess you can carry it as a neck knife. Um, but you can always remove the pocket clip, and you can carry this on your belt as well. There's, you know, lots of versatility with this knife. Um, and I'm really happy with it. So let me show you guys the Amazon listing. Um, so as you see here, let me focus here. So there, um, as I said, this is the uh, compact. They do also have a folding version of it. It's not exactly the same blade. Um, it doesn't have the serrations on top, but it is a folding version of this knife. Um, they have the Nax, which is basically a knife and an axe. <laughs> pretty weird. Um, and then they have, I don't know what this resin infused is. I haven't seen this yet. Oh yeah. So this is just the regular old razzle, uh, with the resin infused handle. Um, there's another folder here. So this is a little bit, uh, you know, uh, um, a little more similar. It's got that chisel grind in the front. Um, so it's got a deep carry pocket clip. There's just a bunch of different, um, you know, a bunch of different designs. And I, you know, I think it's really cool. Okay. So this is more of a version without the scale. So this is a more skeletonized version of it. And then there's a different sheath. So this might be a little thinner in the pocket if you want to go something like that. But um, I didn't really like that because I like the more darker um, stone washed look than the, you know, satin uh, middle. So really good little deal here. You get D2 steel, um, solid sheath, really, really good ergonomics um, and solid performance. So I'm really happy with this knife. I would definitely go pick it up. Links will be in the description. And uh, that'll be it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay humble. Peace.